that sent me to set the Baptist free. I decree 2015, every captivity of your life is turned already. For somebody, your relationship captivity has turned. The issue of your marriage has already turned. The issue of your family has already turned. I decree the God of Graceland has told me to declare to you this new year the grace of God will accompany you. The grace of God will follow you. You will experience heaven on earth. In your finances, you will experience heaven on earth. In your going out, you will experience heaven on earth. A thousand shall fall. Ten thousand shall fall. It will not be your portion. Good morning, good morning, God bless you. Good morning, Facebook family. Good morning, God bless you. I greet you in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is Simeon L. Dumba, God's servant, Simeon L. Dumba from the Liberty Christian Center, Republic of Liberia. I greet you this morning in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What a joy this day to be counted among the living. We are grateful to God. For his blessings endure his mercies endure forever i will bless the lord at all times his praise shall continuously be in my mouth this morning we would like to come to us from the passages of scriptures mainly this morning i'm led to intercede i'm led to pray this morning for a specific unit in the family and a specific target group in our own congregations and a specific target group within the nation that is the youth the young people our offspring and we've been looking at wisdom for crisis time and if there is anything that concerns us most as children of god and privileged leaders in the body of christ 
is about the next generation, the next generation, the generation of people who are in authority today, what becomes of our children, what becomes of our businesses, what becomes of the church of Jesus Christ, what becomes of our family. If the children of today do not pay heed or don't pay attention to bringing them up the right way and committing them into the hands of God. Christian friends, I have news for you. The enemy is interested in your children. God is interested in your children. The enemy is seeking opportunity to destroy your family by affecting negatively the next generation. The next generation. Satan is a master strategist. He strategizes against the future against the next generation so this morning we shall be praying and probably between now and the weekend we'll be looking at this subject more closely so that we pray properly and we get the right results out of our labor in the kingdom of god tonight we look at some verses of scripture number one isaiah chapter 54 and i read from verse number 13 for the sake of time he says, all your children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. In righteousness you shall be established, and you shall be far from oppression. It shall not come near thee, nor of the terror, for it shall not come near you. In thee they shall surely assemble together against thee, but whosoever shall assemble against thee shall fall for your sake. In Psalm 112, from verse 1, my Bible says, Praise ye the Lord, bless is everyone that feareth the Lord. Verse 2 says, The generation of the upright shall be blessed. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endure forever. Christian friends, if you are a child of God today, God has released, God has pronounced, God has prepared blessings for our children. He has prepared blessings for our children. Psalm 102 and verse 28, the Bible says, The generation of, the, of your servants, the offspring or the children of your servants shall continue in the presence of the Lord. So continuity is what we are looking at. If today you are a successful church leader and there is no one from your lineage to continue after you, it might become a wasted effort of all that God is doing through you if today you are a great business person and there is no one in your lineage in your family there's no one you have raised as a young person to catch into the vision to buy the vision and run with the vision it might become a waste because my bible said the generation of the upright shall be blessed the children of my servant shall continue shall continue so the Bible makes us understand we need we ought to pray for our children. Say our children shall be taught. So any opportunity to release the word and instruct our children and impart them with the word to teach them the scriptures, the Bible says an, is an opportunity to separate them from all forms of evil. Is an opportunity to bless them and make them a blessing. In Psalm one hundred twenty-seven, verse one, verse three, the Bible says. Children are the heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Children are the heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. In Matthew chapter 19, verse 14, Jesus said, Allow the little children to come unto me. Bring them unto me. So, Jesus Christ knew very well that after his work on earth, after he was here physically with us, he needed to be ascend into heaven and he needed the next generation to be imparted he knew that there were people who will come after him that will be younger than him that will continue with the good work so he said don't prevent the children bring them to me in Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18 he said I and the children the Lord has given to me we are for signs and for wonders we are for signs and for wonders why did the Lord lay this on my heart Christian friends, in my meditation, the Lord said, do you know how many young children have been trafficked around the world? Do you know that even under the, the, the disguise of COVID-19, children are being trafficked in and out of nations? In and out of nations. Even before COVID-19, children were being trafficked on a daily basis at every major airport in the 
Western world, the Eastern world, in the Asian world, you see children being moved back and forth. And these are the future leaders. These are the generation of people who should, who should take the mantle of revival and run with it. But they have been trafficked one way or another. They have been used. They have been abused. They are children that have been sacrificed on evil altars. Even in our own nation, when you talk of ritualistic killing, it happens most of the time with children. We find innocent children losing their lives only because others want to appease a god. We see young virgins being used to appease some gods and goddesses. Christian friends, these things ought not to be as long as the church is sought and the church is light. So tonight is our time to stop the human sacrifice, to stop the children's sacrifice, to stop using our children as laborers on the gold mine, to stop using our children and making them vulnerable, making them street sellers and all these kind of things. Our children are turning into useless citizens. They are becoming addicts of drugs and alcohol and no one is saying anything. Our children out there, the next generation, of leaders are young men and young women who spend their time in cyber cafe sending one fraudulent letter or another on the internet sending one fraudulent letter or another they don't want to work they don't want to work all they want is something free something free something free most of our children go to school nowadays they can highly sit down and compose a friendly letter but they know everything on the internet they know everything happening in town they know everything about sports and entertainment and they know nothing about jesus they know nothing about god they know nothing about decency and orderliness so we need to invest in the next generation we need to invest in the children privilege of god to come up in this nation as a child i started serving god I have people today who can tell you they are living witnesses. They were classmates, they were schoolmates in our teenage years, and they knew me to be a monitor or a supervisor or a superintendent or someone, some leader always pointing them to Jesus, always pointing them to Jesus. The children of today are the leaders of tomorrow. What I'm privileged to be doing today, I did some 33 years ago. I did some 30 years ago. I did some 20 years ago. I did some 21 years ago. And today, God has continued to use me. But what happens after our time on earth is over? If Christ tarry, the earth may be here for maybe a couple of years. If Christ tarry, we may be here maybe for another generation. But in 10 years' time, in 5 years' time, in 40 years' time, if Christ does not come, what happens to the church of Jesus Christ? What's going to happen to your family? Because the children of today will become the leaders of tomorrow. And those of us who are privileged to be parents, it's about time to spend time on our knees. In the book of Lamentations, chapter 2 from verse 18, I want to read that passage of scripture. He said, Lamentations chapter 2 and verse 18, he said, A heart cry out of the, to the law, O wars of the daughter of Zion, let tears run down your eyes like river, night and day. Thank God we are in the night. He said, gave yourself no relief, gave your eyes no rest. Arise and cry out at night, at the beginning of the watches, pour out your heart like water before the face of the Lord. Let your hands be towards him for the life of your young children that faint in the streets. For the lives of your young children that have been wasted in the street, that have become victims of the system. Your young children that are lavishing behind bars. Your young children whose destiny and whose life and whose future has been cut off. Your young children who have no remorse or no respect for the things of God. Your young children who, who feel that going to church is a problem. You have to compare them, you have to, you have to encourage them, you have, to, you have to, to, to cajole them in order for them to go to church. It is wrong. It is wrong. So if we miss it at the level of the children, we're going to lose it at the level of the adults. If we miss it at the level of the children, we're going to lose it completely at the level of the adults. So it is about time that every Christian parent, 
It is about time that every Christian leader around the world, it is about time that every servant of God be more focused on the next generation. Be more focused on the next generation. And a couple of days, we're going to be praying for our children. Listen to what the Bible says. Children are the heritage of the Lord. He said, our children shall be taught. They shall be taught. Proverbs 22 and verse 6 said, train up a child in the way that he will go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it. So we don't train adults. We train children. We train children. That's why he said, children, obey your parents. In the law, honor your father and your mother that it may be well with you and that you will live long in the land. Why do young people die before their time? They disobey their parents. They feel they know more than their parents. They argue with their parents. They call their parents names. And the Bible says it brings a curse on the land. In Malachi chapter 3 and chapter 4, the Bible says God spoke concerning Elijah. He said, I'm going to turn the house of the fathers to the children. I'm going to turn the house of the children to the father, lest that I place the land under a curse. Christian friends, many Christian families are under the curse. Generational curse because the family is disorderly. If you want to get married as a Christian, find out the kind of family that person comes from. Find out whether children are brought up properly in that family. Find out whether that person has a proper upbringing. Many married men that have problems today are traceable to the fact that they were boys who had some deficiency and they were not taken care of. Any married woman that has a problem today, maybe she was a girl and she had some problems, some deficiency, and she had nobody to talk into her life. She had no man. Or maybe something happened as a child coming up. Maybe she was abused or maybe she was she was she was molested. And because of such reasons, women wake up and they have resentment against the opposite sex. Even when they are married, if the husband touches her head, that memory comes back and, and she carries it for the rest of her life. If deliverance doesn't happen, it becomes a difficult thing for her to get married and stay married because of the abuse from childhood. Christian friends, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? So we are laying a solid foundation for the next generation. We are laying a solid foundation for the next church, the future church of Jesus Christ. We are laying a foundation for the next family, the future family. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. So if we do not invest into the young people now, if we don't spend time, if we don't spend time praying and interceding for them, there may be no Joshua after Moses, there may be no Timothy after Paul, there may be no Elijah after Elijah, there may be no Joshua after Moses, there may be no Timothy after Paul, there may be no Elisha after Elijah, and there may be no apostles. James and John after the Lord Jesus Christ. Christian friends, that's the system of heaven. God will always give the blessing to, a, to an Abraham and it will flow down to, to Isaac and will flow down to Jacob and will flow down to Joseph. Who is your Joseph? Who is your Isaac? Who is your Jacob? Now that you are Abraham. Because when God gets ready to bless you, the blessing transcends generation. So this morning, generational blessings will be released on your family. Generational blessings will be released on our children. Generational anointing will fall on our children in the name of Jesus. The scripture says, in the last days, the mountain of the Lord house will be established and all nations will flow into it. The Bible also says that our sons we have vision and our young our our, our our old men will dream dream and our young women you will pour out your spirit on all flesh father we pray for the spirit of revival we pray for genuine hunger and genuine encounter with your word among our young people among our children father we take authority this day in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father you have given us the opportunity to pray you said we should call on you and you will answer and you will show us great and mighty things you said tonight, O oh Lord, that our children shall be taught. Lord, teach our children. Teach our children in their dreams. Teach them in the physical. Teach them, O oh Lord, as they walk on the way. Teach them, O oh Lord, as they pursue education. Teach our children. You said our children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of our children. Father, we pray for every Christian parent viewing me this morning. Everyone who have a troublesome child, or a disobedient child, or a rebellious child. This day we ask for intervention. 
attention in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy prevail. Oh Lord God Almighty. You said from a child you are known the Holy Scripture that is able to make you wise. Father, we pray for encounter in the Scripture for our sons and daughters, the young men of this nation, the young women of this nation. Father, we pray if there be any curse of limitation on the life of our young people, let that curse be broken in the name of Jesus. Let our children be greater than us. Let our children go beyond where we stop in life. Father, we pray failure will not become the identity. We pray, oh Lord, that our sons and daughters will hunger and thirst after righteousness and they shall be filled. They shall be filled. They shall be filled. They shall be filled with the presence and the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray this day that in the body of Christ in our nation, Liberia, we plead, oh Lord, for new young men and women to rise up in the church. We pray for the youth department of every Christian organization. We pray for the youth department of the church of Jesus Christ in this nation. We pray that you will raise a new breed of young people without greed. A new breed of young people without greed in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that your light will shine on the pathway of our young people. Like Samuel saw you and heard your voice as a child. Like David, oh Lord, attacked the enemy of the lion, the bear, and Goliath at the age of 17. Father, we pray as Joseph preserved himself and fled from Potiphar at the age of 17. We pray for our teenagers. We pray for our young men that they will flee fornication. They will flee temptation. They will flee ungodliness in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for that wayward daughter. That daughter that has ran away from home and the parents are still searching for her. We ask for your intervention. Order her steps back home. Order her steps back home. Order her steps back home in the name of Jesus. Let generational curses be broken. Let generational limitations be broken. Let generational trouble be broken in the name of Jesus Christ on Nazareth. Oh, Father, we pray. You say our children shall be taught. We pray that they will be taught by angels. They will be taught by men. They will be taught by prophets. They will be taught, oh Lord, by yourself. You will teach our children by yourself to fear you in the name of Jesus. We declare peace in the name of Jesus. We declare peace over our family. Peace over our children. We cry unto you, oh Lord, for the rescue of the next generation. They shall live and not die, but to declare the words of the Lord. They shall live and not die but to declare the words of the Lord. Father, we pray whatever plan the enemy has to finish up our young people, to destroy them, to depopulate them, to disgrace them. Lord, we raise a standard and say no in the name of Jesus. We say no to the enemy's agenda in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray against child trafficking. We pray against child molestation. We pray against we pray against child labor. We pray against, oh Lord, all forms of abuse of children in the name of Jesus. As innocent as they are, oh Lord, the enemy is corrupting them, even from their mother womb, even from the elementary school, from the primary and pre-primary school. Father, we pray for revival. Revival. Let your light begin to shine. Let your light shine in the homes of our children. Let your light shine in the learning centers of our children. Let your light shine in our communities. Our children will not be used as human shields for violence in the nation, in the name of Jesus. You said, oh Lord, violence shall no more be heard in our nation, nor the waster, nor the destroyer within our streets. Father, we take authority, our destiny, the destiny of the next generation will not be wasted. Our children will not be wasted. Our sons and daughters will not be wasted. Their time will not be wasted. Their blood will not be wasted. Their destiny will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for that child that has been on drug and alcohol. We ask for your intervention. Lord, we pray, save someone tonight. Let the seed of your word, let the light of your word. Let the fire of your word, let the hammer of your word penetrate their heart, the stony heart of that young person. And we command you are loose from that addiction in the name of Jesus. You are loose from that addiction in the name of Jesus. You are loose from that foul spirit in the name of Jesus. And so Father, we ask this day for grace to continue with the race of life. Lord, we take authority against peer pressure. We take authority against peer pressure for our children. We take absolute authority this day against 
all forms of abuse of children. He must sacrifices. Sending our children to join the fraternities and secret societies, it is enough. Father, we pray for your mercy and we say no, and we say no, and we say no. All forms of initiation of our children into occultism, Lord, we disallow it and we say no. We join faith this day with believers around this nation, around the world, and we say we raise a standard against female circumcision, we raise a standard against bush institution. We raise a standard against secret societies where the destiny of young men are molded the negative way in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray this day that your power will be present in every home connected to this broadcast in the name of Jesus. Father, you say in Christ's time, you will preserve us from all troubles. From all trouble. From six trouble, from seven trouble, you shall preserve us from all trouble. You said that generation of the upright shall be blessed. Let your blessings speak in the lives of our children. Let your blessings speak in the lives of our sons and daughters. Let your blessings speak. You said wealth and riches will be in, the, in our house and the righteousness will endure forever. You say our children will be like olive plants round about our table. They will not be sickly. They will not become specimen. They will not be sickly. They will not become specimen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we raise a blood standard. We raise a blood standard against all forms of trap, satanic trap, satanic snare that has been prepared for our children. We disallow in the name of Jesus. We pray against the spirit of violence against young people. Violence against young people. People, whether by law and order or law and disorder, we plead for your mercy and we say, no, it will not continue. No, it will not continue. No, it will not continue. All forms of abuse this day, we condemn it in the name of Jesus. We condemn them in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we cry for the total salvation. We ask for the total healing of our young men and our young women, the ones to whom you are preparing in the future to run with the gospel. Father, we ask for your help. We ask for your help. Our eyes are on you. The ones that are in and out of prison, oh Lord, we pray you will save them. The ones that have charges on the head of murder and all manner of evil charges on the head, Lord, we ask for your mercy. We ask for your mercy. All the ones that are addicted, this day we ask for your mercy in the name of Jesus. We pray for the disadvantaged youth of our nation. The disadvantaged youth of our nation. They are the main power in the nation. Father, we ask for your help. We ask for your help. We ask for your help. Lord, we pray for the healing of our land. Heal our families. Heal our young people. Heal our families. Father, we pray this day for the government of the nation. We pray, O oh Lord, for our leaders in authority. You will use them for your glory and they will not walk against your, your own glory. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that peace will continue to reign in the land. No matter the, in the plans of the enemy, let your peace reign. Let your peace reign in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that you pull out your spirit. Pull out your spirit as we cry unto thee, O Lord. Turn our captivity around. Save our young people. Save our young people. Let them grow in the things of God. Let them be greater than their parents in the things of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for grace. Release your grace this day your grace that will help us to continue in the race of life. Your grace upon us as your servants, as your privileged servants ahead of the people. We pray for grace upon the life of our children that they will continue in the race of life and they will not deny you nor your name in the name of Jesus. Lord, your word says, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto us. Let there be additions and multiplication. He shall will give you pastors after my own heart who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. And it shall come to pass, you shall multiply and increase in the land. Let there be multiplication. Let your church multiply. Let your church increase in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for growth and expansion of your church. We take authority against that demon called COVID-19. We set a packing out of the land in the name of Jesus. La kwatwa ikatabra lekete uza. La kota brikata we lift up our hands to you, O Lord. Father, we ask for your intervention. Let there be a turnaround. Let COVID-19 leave this nation and leave every nation of the earth in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the West African leaders. We pray for the East African leaders. We pray for all African leaders. We pray, O Lord, you begin to speak them and use them for the greater good of their own people in the name of Jesus. Lord, we take authority against public enemy number one. Corruption in high places. Corruption in low places. We raise 
a standard of the blood of Jesus against the practice of corruption in the land in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the light of your gospel shine. Let righteousness exalt this nation. Let righteousness exalt this family. Let righteousness exalt every family connected to this broadcast and let your name be glorified in Jesus' precious name. Father, we say thank you because in doing this, there's a reward and our expectation will not be cut off. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you for answer prayers. Thank you. We celebrate you. We give you all the glory in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name.